Hey guys, welcome to another Cycling Grand Tour Bike School video. This week we'll have a look at how to adjust your Shimano rear derailleur. We'll be working on the Shimano 105 5800 series 11 speed derailleur. However, these adjustments also work on a SRAM and Campagnolo derailleurs. Quick side note, if you're watching this video because your gears are all over the place, stop the video now, check the comment section below for the troubleshooting area and then you can resume watching this video. In the derailleur we have high limit screw, low limit screw, anchor bolt, two barrel adjusters, one here on the derailleur and another one on the shifter and B screw. To adjust the derailleur I'll be using a Philips and the 5mm. Start by spinning the pedals and choosing the highest gear in the rear and the lowest gear in the front. Turn the barrel adjuster on the derailleur all the way in so we can adjust cable tension after we anchor the cable. Now unscrew the cable anchor bolt. To adjust the rear derailleur, we need to set the limiter screws, both high and low. The high limiter screw controls the high gears, the low limiter screw controls the low gears. By playing with the high limiter screw, we can see the derailleur moving in and out. We want to set the high limit screw just below the smallest cog and then gently push it out. For the low limit screw, grab the derailleur with one hand and gently push it towards the larger cogs while spinning the pedal. This one is very important to get right. If the limit is too tight, you won't be able to choose gear number one. If it's too loose, the derailleur will hit the spokes. In this case, we can see that the rail is hitting the spot and it's too loose. We need to tighten the limit screw. As I tighten the limit screw, I can feel resistance on the derailleur. The derailleur wants to go up. You cannot see that the derailleur is immediately below the largest cog. Gently bring the derailleur back to its original position. To anchor the cable, start by grabbing your derailleur with one hand and shifting one gear up. This preloads the derailleur and makes it easier for you to pull in the cable tight. We are now ready to start indexing the gears. So by turning the pedals and now we want to shift one gear up. As we can see the derailleur struggled a little bit to change one gear up. So we're just going to add a little bit of tension the barrel adjuster. I'm putting a full turn. Let's change another gear up and another one and another one. We just go up the whole cassette. And now down. So I'm quite happy with the performance of shifting, however it does take a little bit of time from the moment that I click the shifter for the gear actually to change. I'm just going to put another half turn. Ideally I want the derailleur to change gear just before my shifter clicks. Let's try it now. Now it's much better. B-screw. This is something that most YouTube videos skip over. It's very important in fine-tuning your derailleur position. The B-screw controls the angle where your derailleur sits. Getting your derailleur closer to the cassette improves shifting performance and reduces wear on your drivetrain. We want it as close as possible to the cassette without actually touching it. And you're done. 
good work. Your gifts should now be working perfectly. And if not, don't forget to check the video description for troubleshooting. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to learn more about the standard I was using for this video, check the video right here. Oh, and here's the subscribe button we've been looking for. Thanks and I'll see you guys later.